Well, this summer like air mass is going to linger for one more day before we start talking about some changes and the changes are going to come in with some drama to it. We've got some heavy rain on the way for Saturday, possibly some gusty breezes through the end of the weekend, a big drop in temperatures, big drop in humidity. It'll be blustery on Sunday. Much cooler air comes in and looks to linger through next week. We'll go back to being below normal, so some big temperature swings coming up with a strong cold front in the middle. That front is currently making its way across the Plain States. Temperatures there yesterday were, you know, incredibly warm. Today, tomorrow, everyone's starting to see those temperatures drop. Now, up and down the East Coast, tomorrow's not going to be quite as warm as today. We hit 85 this afternoon. Tomorrow, we should be back to the upper 70s, lower 80s. You've got 80s up and down the eastern half of the U.S. The Plains are always warm this time of year, but they are definitely cooling down once this storm system passes by. And we do have some chilly air that's out across the northern plains, the inner mountain west. We're going to have a taste of those temperatures by the time we hit Sunday. Now, the dew point is current. This is right now, and you can clearly see where there's a storm system. Very dry air now across the northern and central plains with a big shot of humidity out across the southern plains, reaching out to the eastern coastline. We have some pretty decent dew points for southern New England hanging out in the lower to middle 60s tonight. Tomorrow looks like dew points are back around 60, kind of like this afternoon. Friday and Saturday, they go up with our rain chances. Then once we get behind that system, we go back to an incredibly dry air mass, especially early to mid next week. At night, if we can get some clearing, might get a little frosty. So the current satellite loop not really showing any cloud cover up and down the I-95 corridor. I mean, everybody on the East Coast is dealing with a beautiful summer-like sunny day today. We're watching this storm system coming in out of the West. It's a strong cold front, but there's also another player. Some of the cloud cover that you see here on the bottom of your screen, that's from Tropical Storm Philippe. And believe it or not, that is going to be potentially impacting the East Coast later this weekend, too. So taking a look at your 24, clear skies for early tonight. Patchy fog redevelops, might be more widespread spread through early tomorrow morning. So you might wake up to a gray sky. Uh, the fog could be at ground level. I think it'll be a little bit above it. So your visibility probably won't be too, too bad. After the sun comes up, it will gradually lift. We'll start to get brighter as we head toward the afternoon. Then in the afternoon, we should be partly cloudy to mostly sunny. So temperatures rebound, getting back into the upper 70s, possibly lower 80s. It will be our last dry day this week, and then we start turning unsettled on Friday. So a foggy start means a delayed warm up. Tomorrow shouldn't be quite as hot just because the upper level ridge that's been overhead starts moving away and that means the temperatures just won't be as dramatic but it's still going to be a pretty warm afternoon now friday is going to be a cloudy day it'll still be humid and we'll have the chance for occasional showers coming up out of the south but it's very hit or miss doesn't look to be a washout. Rain starts to become much more likely as we head into Saturday morning. The question is how you know widespread is the rain? Is it steady? Is it more scattered and spotty? We'll have Philippe that'll be coming up out of the south. We'll have our cold front coming in out of the west. So it's going to be a humid, muggy, you know, mild start to the day and possibly pretty damp. The heaviest rain should occur later in the afternoon and evening with the cold front passing by. Philippe could potentially be making landfall on the coast of Maine. Once we get behind the the front it turns blustery some wind gusts 20 30 miles an hour on sunday highs will only be in the 50s so shorts today sweaters on sunday right new england columbus day looking fairly cloudy and still cool and then we remain on the chilly side most of next week back to you guys